Everything we do, men, from here on out, is to win. And put it in your head right now that we plan on planning in January and February. Shadows in the sky Footsteps in the night Behind me Targets in their sight Running out of light To save me bigger than this. The AFC South title's on the line, which will automatically give the winner a playoff berth. And Tony, it's the biggest regular season home game in franchise history. And against the hated Tennessee Titans. So one-time Jaguar, Joshua Dobbs, a six-year player out of Tennessee, the University of Tennessee. He is the quarterback, and of course, the great Derrick Henry, back in the lineup, stands behind him. This time, Dobbs keeps it, and he's gonna throw it out to the right flat, and that ball's gonna be caught, and that's gonna be a first down. That's the rookie tight end, Chick Oquanquo. Shotgun for Joshua Dobbs on fourth down. He drops the throw, Jack's rushing, fires it out to the right side, that ball is gonna be caught. Fourth and three. They converted a fourth down a moment ago. This is a fourth and three from the 35 of Jacksonville. The Jags blitz him. He drops, throws it out to the left side. That's wide open. Wide open in the left side was Robert Woods. He caught it with some ease. Pushed out of bounds by Rayshon Jenkins at the 25-yard line, but that's an easy 10-yard game and another fourth down conversion for Tennessee. Well, the big stat that Tennessee wanted to have is lower the Jaguars' possessions. They had one possession essentially in the first quarter. They only had two first downs, 21 total yards of offense with five offensive plays. Tennessee, four first downs, 72 yards of offense, and they have completely on 19 offensive plays. I mean, that's, that's playing Tennessee football today right there. They're going to mark it at the 22-yard line. Travis is in the game. Stands to the right of Trevor Lawrence. Two left, one right. Now a shotgun. Now Kirk goes into the backfield. They run an option, and it's a reverse, and they fumble the ball. They have fumbled the ball. Let's see who got on top of it. They have fumbled the ball on a reverse to 
Jamal Agnew, and Tennessee has recovered. That is a mistake by Jacksonville in plus territory. Rashad Weaver recovered the fumble by Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I mean, it's a risky proposition when you're talking about doing an option pitch reverse. I mean, your quarterback has found a rhythm. You're moving the ball down the field. For me, you're in field goal range. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. First down at the 21. Under center is Dobbs. The running back, Derrick Henry. Play fake. Dobbs drops. Fires to the left side. That ball is going to be caught for the touchdown. In the left corner of the end zone, that is Oconquo. And the first touchdown of the game goes to the Tennessee Titans as they extend the lead. But right now, this Jaguars offense might have to kind of take off the shackles a little bit and start throwing it like they did the last game in Tennessee, and they had great success. Bullet kicks it off. Agnew's going to field this thing four yards deep and run it out of there. That's the plan today. Gets it to the 20 yard line into the open field. That's why. 30, 35, 40, almost to midfield. I mean, he had a head of steam, and he got it all the way close to midfield and a great return by Jamal Agnew. First down at the 25 yard line now. Three receivers left, one right. Under center this time is Trevor. ETN the running back. Now you got slots to either side. Play fake, rolling to the right. Trevor looks, wants to throw it back to the left side. Fires toward the corner, the end zone. Caught for the touchdown, Christian Kirk. Talk about a franchise quarterback throw. That was it right there. Trevor Lawrence has had three throws on that drive that were amazing. And that one was the best one of them all. Right to the goal line on the left side of the field. Right on the money to Christian Kirk. It's his first touchdown this year that hasn't been in the red zone. You know, Tony, I'm not in panic mode up here, but I'm, I got a little anxiety, though, okay? I do, too. <laughs> I don't. I'd be lying. Because I, I, I'm fine. Right I, now, trust you, but I'd be lying. this game has gone exactly like Mike Vrabel would yeah. like it to, but you're right and that, it, look, if you come out here and you take care of business on this first drive, and all of a sudden, it starts going your way. Well, here come the Jags. They have the first possession. They won the toss and deferred, so they have the first possession in the second half, a critical possession the blitz, steps up, fires, that ball is going to be caught. Christian Kirk made the catch at the 34-yard line of Tennessee. Trevor dropped, short drop this time, fires middle of the field, that ball's caught. Marvin Jones Jr. inside the 15-yard line. He spun his way to around the 11-yard line. First down, Jacksonville. Kevin fired on the tackle, but the Jags are on the move. Trevor looks, still looks, fires back court of the end zone, and he had him, and he missed him. That was a miss. Zay Jones was absolutely all by himself in the back of the end zone and Trevor overthrew it. Three points on the board, but a missed opportunity there. Yeah, guys, from a defensive standpoint, at some point you got to flip the switch. Josh Dobbs has been too comfortable in the pocket, and a lot of it is because the Titans have been able to win on early downs. The run defense has to step up, but then it's on the DBs and the pass rush to find a way to make Josh Dobbs uncomfortable. Dropping the throw is Dobbs. Looking, looking, fires deep downfield. Outstanding job by Tyson Campbell, who on the deep throws this year has allowed a completion percentage of about 18%. And on this one, the ball was underthrown to Burks. 
and Tyson Campbell makes the catch. Boy, when you're talking about creating energy, this defense has done it this year with the takeaways. That is the 26th takeaway on the season. They run it with Henry on the left side, and this time the Jags hit him in the backfield. That is great work by Jacksonville's defense. Trayvon Walker finished him off, loss of three. So now it's third and eight. They're four out of 11 on third down. Dobbs drops the throw, steps up. He's going to get hit. He's going to get sacked. Roy Robertson Harris got him inside the 25 yard line. Now the Jaguars defense has come to life. Yeah, this bananas down in the bank on the sideline. But to a man, the defensive line stood up and said they got to close the game out. The defense, Arden Key, got in front of the guys, told him we got to go get it done. We got to see if the pass rush can finish it off. That clock, okay, is running, and when you're facing a Titans team that has Derrick Henry, and he's got the momentum and the ability to close out a game, I mean, that's what he is. I mean, he's the ultimate closer back. You've got to find a way to stop him. He's the one that can give you a chance at another possession and winning this game. Well, and if they want to run the ball, they can basically take it under three minutes. old school football being played in the trenches. I mean, it is a physical game that's happening. Loading up, trying to stop Derrick Henry. They got their opportunity to get into the postseason on the line. And there's a lot happening. Big third down right here. You know, and Josh Dobbs, as much as we wanted to talk about how inexperienced he was, he was only with the team for 17 days. He's done a manageable job for this Tennessee Titans team. 17 of 26 for 161 yards, and I think right now you've got to make sure you cover the Titans' tight ends. Third down and five and chain. We're nearing the three-minute mark. Haskins, the running back. Two left, two right. Shotgun, biggest play of the game right here. Shotgun for Dodge, he drops, it's a blitz, an all-out blitz. They hit him as he lets it go, the ball comes out. The ball comes out and it's picked up. The Jags are running it back. The Jags are running it back. The Jags are gonna run it into the end zone. Josh Allen scores a touchdown. Josh Allen is running back for a touchdown for Jacksonville. Yes. How about that? Josh Allen ran it back and the Jags have taken the lead with 2.51 to play. Mike Vrabel and that Titans offense was controlling the tempo. They've shortened the game. And Rayshon Jenkins, the hero in the Dallas game, is a hero again because he's the one that gets the sack, cause fumble. Josh Allen picks it off, covers it, picks it up off the back. Scoop bounce. and score. Okay. Hey, get it One last sleepless night 
Until the other side can say They can't play because of the injury. You play for them, right? They would give everything to be on that football field with you guys, and you battled for them. And, uh, you know, listen, you know, you're AFC South champs, baby. Listen, this man right here, he's poured everything into Jacksonville for a long, long time, okay? And for us, obviously, we're, this is our first season together. We wanted to present Shad and Tony with the 2022 AFC yeah. South Division oh, Champion. Oh, oh, oh. But I'm so freaking proud of all of you. Yes, sir. It's been hard work, battering. Everyone believed in everyone. Oh man, I just can't describe this moment. I'm gonna seal it up and live with it the rest of my life. Yes, One, two, three. Oh, yeah.